<laughs> oh, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Y'all freaking suck. What the hell? <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome back to another Foul Fridays here on Bobby Guy Films, the best gosh darn goose and duck channel there is. Hello? Today we are going to be talking about cold fronts and warm fronts and how to hunt both of those accordingly to just get really banger hunts out of them. This is going to be goose hunting specifics. This idea actually came from a subscriber by the name of HB Waterfowl. Thank you, sir. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys have any ideas that you want to, you know, you want to learn, you want to see, you want me to do for how to waterfowl, especially goose, let me know down below. Uh, if it's good enough, I'll pick it. I'll shout you out just like I did old HP waterfowl, and we'll go ahead and do it. I am located, as most of you know, in the central migratory flyaway, smack dab in the middle of Kansas. If you guys are situated in the, anywhere in the Midwest, especially Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, that area, a little farther north, this video is right up your alley because you're going to be dealing with the same fronts that I am. So first off, we're going to start with cold fronts. Cold fronts work to my advantage, especially in the, in the, in the early season to about mid, a little bit past mid-season, to my advantage extremely well, and here is why. Cold fronts all the way up until about, you know, January 15th really work to my advantage here in Kansas because on the really strong fronts, I mean, when it's a heavy snow, I mean, a just bitter cold front, uh, it really pushes those birds down from the north, coming south, and right in my lap. <laughs> Yeah! So what I guess I'm trying to say is when these huge cold fronts move in from the north, it just moves this massive amount of birds that aren't here yet. You know, all, all Canada geese, all geese in general, for that purpose, move in south from the north. So when it's early season to about mid-season, a lot of birds have not made it to me yet. When that cold front comes, they stay ahead of that front. So. You know, when you know Nebraska, or when I know Nebraska or anywhere north has a huge front coming and we're expected to get that front in, you know, two to three, one to two days, uh, I know that it's just gonna be all hell breaking loose and I need to get my ass in the truck and get to scouting. Hunting big cold fronts, I guarantee you, will produce some of the best hunts of your life. I truly cannot lie, this tactic this method as to watching the weather what's coming in north early to mid season is one of the tactics that allows me and you know all of us here that I hunt with in our group uh, to have just those smack dab beat down just beat down hunts that uh, you can't you can't wish for so in in return what what you cannot be is a fair weather hunter you have to buck up you have to dress appropriately and you have to get out in that bitter cold especially you know right after the snows fell it's time to it's time to saddle up dress in white and get out there son but like i said if you pay attention to your north you know your north fronts coming in i promise you this is one tool if you if you just grasp it you learn it it is going to help you have 10 times more successful hunts i guarantee it so to add to cold fronts before we move on to warm fronts when you have a big front and all these geese move in, you, you truly don't know how many miles they've stayed ahead and how hard they've flown over weeks and weeks of time. Maybe, you know, maybe a whole week or two, they've just flown, flown, flown hard and barely landed to eat or, or you know, feed or loaf or any of that mess. They are gonna come to you freaking hungry. That That's the key ingredient. These birds are gonna be hungry in front of big, big, you know, pushes a cold front. Uh, get out there, find your big feeds, and I guarantee you, this cold front thing, if you pay attention, like I said, pay attention to your weather. This is one tool, I promise you. All these how-tos that I do, 
you have to start paying attention to the weather. A lot of you avid waterfowlers out there know exactly what I'm talking about. That's why you guys have successful hunts. I know how many of you out there, I can tell by the comments you guys drop, you know, how much knowledge you guys have, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but uh, a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, if you use this tactic, drop that thumbs up button because you know what? It's there to our advantage, and I'm glad you guys are taking advantage of it too. But like I said, guys, when you find these big, big, big ass feeds, these birds are gonna be hitting it morning and night because they're so hungry trying to refuel for the next front to push them south even more. So these are the two ingredients that will lead you to many, many successful goose hunts, especially goose hunts. This goes for duck as well, but primarily goose. It's paying attention to the weather. I know I've said it a million times already. You're probably sick of me hearing it. And using the two ingredients, cold weather and hungry birds. Drive, 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 and scout, guys. Gotta do it. Now that we've talked about early to mid-season uh, cold front hunting, let's uh, move on to late season warm front hunting. It's a little different. Uh, at times can be a lot more tricky and, and not as repetitive, you know, not, not as easy, not as expecting. It's, the birds, they don't come in in huge amounts from the south like they do the north, so. So southern warm fronts, paying attention to your weather yet again, seeing that warm front later in the week gonna be moving in from the south. So southern warm fronts, guys, it is a thing. It is a thing, let me tell you what. These birds, once it's getting late in the late season, these warm fronts, again, push big groups of birds north. So at the late season, these birds know it's about time to head head back north to where they came from. So these warm fronts, they get in front of them again, and it just shoves them right on north, right into your lap. A little difference from cold fronts and warm fronts. Warm fronts are going to be a little harder to get the birds to do what you want them to do. These birds are going to be, you know, heavily pressured, you know, along their flight path in the migratory flyway. I know I'm trying to say big words and be ridiculous, but <laughs> I know you guys hear me out. Uh, but these birds are going to be, more, they've been more pressured. They're a little more learnt up. So this is when scouting is vital, guys. You got to get out there in the late season. You got to get ahead of these warm fronts. You got to, you got to find these birds. So late season hunting warm fronts, guys. It's a thing. Pay attention to that weather. Yet again, with warm fronts, you know, it's a front and, the, and, these, and these birds are staying out ahead of it. So they're gonna be trucking. They're gonna be trucking. They're gonna be hauling some ass. So they're gonna be hungry yet again. This is the advantage. Hungry birds leads to very successful hunts. On both of these cold and warm fronts, when you see, when you're noticing a lot more birds literally overnight, because that's usually how it works, overnight, it'll go, you know, from, man, we, we have some birds, now to just, Jesus, did you see all the birds that came in overnight? I, I know that's how it works here in Kansas. So when you see these big groups of birds come in, if you're not up to date on the weather, look at the weather and, and understand, or look at your thermometer, and if that sucker's dropped or, or, you know, went up a bunch in the late season, dropped a lot in the early season, this is why. It, it, this is a key ingredient, guys. I can't stress it enough. So I wanted to make this video a little simpler. Uh, I didn't have a lot of time to put into it, but I wanted to give you guys a lot of good just talking information. So if this if this information was you know helpful helpful to you, let me know. Give me that thumbs up, guys. You know you, my subscribers, you guys are my main sub supporters. You know I have appreciated and thank you guys every time I see the numbers go up. I appreciate every one of you guys for hitting that subscribe button but uh, that's gonna do it here for this foul fridays drop them comments down below give me some ideas guys i'll shout you out have a good one guys peace <laughs>